Have you ever seen an image and ever thought to yourself, I wish there was some way I could take this image I'm looking at right now and then create and duplicate and actually make a logo that resembles that exact image? Well, guess what? You can. And it's never been easier. Is this the beginning of the end for graphic designers? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to take any image and then I'll show you exactly how to instruct ChatGPT and Dali how to create a logo for you based off of that image you're about to upload. And the most important element that's going to make this work is first you have to find the sort of image you want to make a logo out of. So for example, right now I am in my Airtable Mega Prompts database and this actually includes every single prompt I use. But for today, I'm going to scroll through some of these images that I made in tools like Midjourney and Leonardo AI. And then I'll also put a link in my description for you guys to be able to access this complete database yourself. More prompts are added to it almost every day. In addition to some other links in the description to where you can copy a ton of prompts directly off of my website. So as I'm scrolling through here, let me just look at an image, something that's a little bit simple. And let's just say I land on this rhinoceros one right here. Let's say I like this image and I want to see if I can create a logo out of this right here. And then down here in the right hand side in this database, I'm going to go ahead and then download it to my downloads folder. There is the image that I want to now create. Now just open up chat GPT. So the first thing we'll do is make sure you have access to GPT-4. What we're going to do now is actually attach this image right here that I just downloaded from my database. And now the next thing, all we have to do is just ask chat GPT one question. And we're going to say, can you describe this image? Go ahead and hit enter and then let ChatGPT describe exactly what this image is. The image shows a close-up of a rhinoceros in a natural setting, likely a savanna or forest clearing. Okay, cool. The details, that's not really important. So now the next step is just give it a simple prompt. Create a logo with the description that you just provided, okay? Hit enter. And now let's see what this can come up with. You can see it's creating an image and it's activating Dali to start this process for us. Okay, now here we go. Here's a pretty cool logo. Not so bad for its first time around. Now let's just compare. There's my image and then there's the logo. Not bad. But here's how we can make this be even more improved and then evolve even further. So now all we have to do is just use the first prompt and tell ChatGPT to do the same thing. So now we're going to type in, can you describe the image you just created? Now this time it's looking at this image right here that it just created and then it's going to give us another description. So here we go. Image features a detailed and elegant logo with a rhinoceros as the central figure. Okay, perfect. So now we have this next description. So at the top, I gave it a photorealistic documentary style image. It gave us this description. I said, give me a logo. There's the logo. Now I'm taking this logo and now I'm doing the same process to get this logo to really evolve. There is the description for this one. And then now just copy and paste this prompt again too. create a logo with the description you just provided. Okay. I'll paste that in, create a logo with the description you just provided. Chat GPT knows that you're referring to this one right here and then let Dali start the initiation process and see what the next logo this can make. Now we have another logo. So it just keeps continuing to evolve until you can get a specific logo that you want. Now you can repeat this process over and over again by just reusing the first prompt and then asking ChatGPT to create a logo based off the description it provides you. So if I open up this image, I mean, this did a pretty good job. I'll hit the download button because I like the way this logo looked, but now we have not one, but two logos. Each one revolves each time simply based off of this photorealistic image right here. Okay, now let me show you how to really customize this and make this the perfect logo that you want, specifically utilizing the color scheme you use. I got this really cool image right here from Adobe Stock, this image of this lion kind of walking straight at you. I really like the way this image looks. Here is the first image I got. This looks pretty good. I'll open it up and expand it. I like the way it looks. Now, compare it. It has the line walking towards me. It's keeping the same color scheme. The line is still in the desert with the sun in the background. I mean, you can't get any better than this as far as a pretty close replication of what this is. Now, let me scroll down because I did this process a few different times. Now, based off of this logo, again, I said, can you describe this image you just provided? Now it gives me another description. The description now in this case now is going to understand the image it gave us prior is a logo image. So you could see here is the new description specifically specifically saying that it is a logo. Now that's where this evolves and really gets good logo specific style images. Now we'll scroll down and based off the image it gave us, I said, create a logo with the description you just provided. There it is right here. Now this does definitely replicate a logo. What I love so much about this logo is that the background can be very easily removed and you can make this a transparent PNG file and use it across the board 
on any background. Select that download button right here, and now we have this awesome looking logo. But what if your color scheme isn't this orange, white, black sort of blend? Well, that's where you can take things a little bit further and really get those nice colors that you specifically want and use. Now we're gonna scroll down, and then here we go one last time. Can you please describe the image you just provided? Simple enough, it describes the image. And then again, my last and final prompt where I added one more simple sentence. So I said, create a logo with the description you just provided. Now, this is important. Please use a purple and blue gradient color scheme. Let's see if chat, GPT, and Dolly understand and then can convert and change this orange color scheme to something more specific to my colors. Now we'll scroll down and then there you have it right here. Now I open it up, expand it and say, boom, perfect. This is a good looking logo. It evolved over and over again. Now I can make this be a really good transparent vector file and it's gonna work across the board. Now you can keep replicating this process over and over again and then feed it some different variations to eventually get exactly what you're looking for simply off of one image alone. So try this simple trick out for yourself and let me know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.